Hey Cancer, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are all doing well. This is your general tarot reading for this week of December 2022 and this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. If you enjoy these readings, you want more just like this one, let me know, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you are aware of when I upload these readings. Your bonus extended for the month of December is up on Vimeo. Check it out. How does my partner feel along with the love messages of your person? If you're interested in a personalized tarot reading, I am available. Video recorded by Etsy message as well. You can go to my Etsy to also... Purchase one of my oracle decks, tarot decks, spiritual jewelry, cheat sheets, all that. All right, so Cancer, let's check you guys out. This is the past, present, mutual energy, also likely outcome, as well as what's going on behind the scenes with your person. I'm going to start off with the one card challenge. One card challenge for Cancers out there. One card challenge for Cancers out there, please. And we have the three of pentacles in reverse, okay? So it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There is an energy of you not getting along with someone. And it comes down to you guys being equally yoked. There could be a difference in the way you perceive life, the way you view life, perspectives. Um, it could be related to your values and beliefs, okay? It, it feels to me like it's just very difficult for you guys to come together to make something work, to build something concrete. Three of Pentacles in verse is compatibility issues. It could be personality flaws. Um, let's take a look. And that could be causing some kind of challenge in this connection. In the past, Six of Cups, Ten of Cups, and the Three of Swords. Wow. So something here broke your heart. Cancer, this could be you, your person. I almost feel like you both were hurt by something. There was a breakup, separation, divorce, okay? Severance. There's loss, there's grief, there's pain here. On the emotional level, because there was a lot of love at one point. There was an idea that you and your person were going to have this Ten of Cups together. Emotional, happiness, fulfillment. I feel like there was an idea of family coming together, blending of families. There could be kids involved. That Six of Cups energy makes me feel like you guys went way back, okay? This is like a lot of past history, college sweethearts, high school sweethearts, that kind of energy. But it's almost like you guys ended on a bad note. There were good times, but there was something here that ended pretty bad. And, you know, Three of Swords communicating a third party could just also be a breakup. The current energy is the High Priestess in reverse, the Strength card, and the Three of Wands. Cancer, in the current energy, you're going to be finding out something here. With the High Priestess, something that maybe a person was keeping to themselves, the Strength card, maybe they were using their strength, their willpower to not reveal something to you. But it's regarding the next steps forward. Three of Wands, it's regarding... Um, them waiting on a situation, waiting for you, waiting for a situation to change, to move forward. Wands is action. So it makes me feel like a someone not revealing to you that they actually want to do take action on the matter. Maybe they're just waiting for the right opportunity. The strength card can mean that they're feeling maybe powerless to some degree. Maybe they don't feel confident in their abilities. They may feel weak or just not in control. Okay, this could be a Leo. This could be a Pisces. So I feel like there's something that's going to be revealed. You may, be, <laughs> you may find this out through your intuition. Some of you guys, you have an incredibly strong psychic intuition. I have to take all those cards. Half the deck just flew out, y'all. All right, let's take a look at what's going on behind the scenes. Cancer, the Hermit, Virgo Energy. We do have the Nine of Swords. The Eight of Swords, very much in their head. It could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Chris. Nine, Eight of Swords, and the Magician. So, Cancer, I mean, this is someone that's been doing a lot of thinking during this downtime, this break. The Hermit is telling me they're really connecting with their higher self, you know, going within, doing the inner work. The Hermit is realizing something, coming to some kind of big realization. There's some, how to, some kind of hidden knowledge, and they're becoming aware, okay? And it feels like with this awareness, they're able to now manifest something that they want. This is how they want to move toward you, right? The magician's about creating, um, coming together, making something happen. But I definitely get the sense that their, their thinking, their way of thinking, self-undoing, self-limiting thoughts, beliefs, that is keeping them feeling stuck. But I do see them breaking away from that, okay? Eight of Swords in the verse is letting that go, cutting ties, snip, snip. And I feel like that is something that they, they do want, okay? There's something they're wanting to manifest, but maybe their own um, thinking is like, you know, I can't do it. I'm not good enough. Let's take a look at the outcome 
Temperance in reverse, Sagittarius. We have the Seven of Wands and the Page of Swords in reverse. So I definitely get the sense there is something happening in divine timing. I feel like it's only a matter of time that someone's going to say, okay, enough is enough. I got to do this, okay? And that's what the temperance is about. There's also a lot of anxiety and, and feels like it's a nervous energy. Someone wanting to accomplish something, but maybe waiting for the right time to do it. And it comes down to this person communicating with you, Cancer. Someone's afraid to communicate. Someone's afraid for you to find out something. And the Seven of Wands, it's regarding them wanting to protect it, to safeguard it, to push forward with something. There's something they really actually do believe in. And it feels like it's coming with this hermit. Someone is maybe realizing with the hermit, there's some kind of awareness realizing that the seven of wands, this is actually something they want. This is something that they feel is worth fighting for. So I think that there's something about this person being able to actually say those words. It could be very difficult for them. And so they're working on manifesting an opportunity to be able to speak, speak their mind, be honest, be truthful. And the temperance, there could be a lot of nervousness, anxiety that comes with that. Okay. Cancer, let's jump right in. Let's see what else we can find out. Lecture comment and subscribe this is for the month of december we're going to start off with the three of pentacles it's coming out in the challenging position for you guys let's take a look three of pentacles crossing it is the three of wands so this is waiting waiting for the right moment waiting for the right time waiting for a break waiting for an opportunity um three of wands someone wants their ships to come in with you but there could be a situation where maybe you guys had so much um you know i'm getting so much resistance you guys not seeing eye to eye not being able to come together it can make this difficult in coming together and moving forward give me the recent past there's a lot of hurt here but there's also a lot of happiness at one point so it's almost like you guys were extremely happy and all of a sudden there was a big big breakup Five of Swords is conflict, stress, um, you know, defeated energy, the strength in the verse, and the Emperor. So Cancer, in the past, I definitely feel like your person had good intentions with the Emperor. They wanted to do the right thing. They wanted to be this Emperor-like energy for you. You may have been dealing with your Divine Masculine. I mean, the Emperor is really nice to see, especially in the upright. So it's almost like this is someone that was willing to make those decisions. They were not afraid. They didn't fear. I feel like this is someone who really actually wanted it. But I also feel like there could have been a situation here where the strength in the verb, something may have happened where they gave up on this connection very easily. Three of Swords could be interference of another person. Five of Swords could be lies, this honest energy, could be fighting, friction, arguing, fighting, right? Something like that. Um, whatever happened, it caused some kind of breakup. And <laughs> give me another card here. The devil. So was something getting in the way, right? Interference. Was this a karmic? Was this an obsession? Was this a toxic energy? There's something that was getting in the way of what you guys were creating and building together. And, um, you know, the devil made me do it, right? It feels like that energy. Capricorn energy with the devil. Does someone have to release something with the third, three of swords, third party? Does someone have to release some kind of toxic tie or codependence they had to someone? Now, give me the high priestess. There's something that's going to be revealed to you. It could be a Leo here. Pisces, Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. Yeah, didn't I tell you there's some kind of situation, person's waiting for the right time to reveal that they, they're wanting to move forward. They're wanting to, they're wanting their ships to come in with you with the Three of Wands. And so this is confirming Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. This is someone that has not given up on you. Mm -mm, not at all. Nine of Wands is like, I'm willing to fight for this. I'm willing to persevere. You are someone that I'm determined to win. Ace of Pentacles. This is something that could bring, could bring a lot of promising, um, a promising future. Ace of Pentacles is commitment. It feels like someone is <laughs> maybe hiding the fact that they still care about this connection. Maybe they're um, in denial. But the High Priestess is it's all coming out in some way, form, or, or, or way. Knight of Swords could be communication. This could be like literally direct, direct communication, texting, phone calls. Someone it could be confronting the other person, but there's definitely some kind of communication. And this communication, you're, you're finding out something. The veil is coming off, right? The high priestess, something is coming out regarding this person, not giving up with the strength, three of wands, wanting their ships to come in with you, wanting movement and change. Now, let me see why this is all happening. In your person's energy, we have the hermit. So this is that hermit again, Ten of Cups. Someone is deeply unhappy, miserable, I want to say, overindulgent. There's the energy of uh, not being grateful, just 
uh, just really disappointed and sad about a situation not working out. And with the uh, the hermit, this is someone that's going into this um, deep, deep reflective energy, deep thinking. Um, and that is making them realize something here about their happiness, what they want from family, home, that Ten of Cups energy. The hermit came out twice. So someone is going within and then they come out of hermit and they come to some kind of big realization. Give me the eight and nine of swords. A lot of overthinking, stress, feeling tied. This could be a lot of self undoing. Page of Wands in a verse, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. So what this looks like is someone here strategizing on how they can have this new direction with you, strategizing on how they can have this creative spark, some kind of movement forward. And it really comes down to them feeling as if you're not going to give them an opportunity. They feel like it's going to be too hard. Eight of Pentacles in a verse, you're not going to allow them to invest or to confess. There's the energy of making up for something that they did. Seven of Swords is lying, cheating, deceiving. So the in reverse, this is someone that wants to come clean. Some of you guys, you caught them in the act of doing something and they feel like now there's no opportunity for them to make it right. It's never going to be enough no matter what they do. They put all this time, energy, and effort into getting back in your life and then it doesn't do anything because perhaps what they did was so bad with the Seven of Swords. So there could be an energy of them keeping themselves stuck, fearing the worst, I'm not good enough. Whatever I do is never going to be good enough. There's a lot of anxiety that comes with that energy. Nine and Eight of Swords. I do think that once they release that energy, there is something that can be manifested. Why is the magician here? Wow, the magician came out again in a judgment. Wow, this is nice. Um, how they see moving forward is the magician twice, right? And the judgment. So there is something that's going to be manifested. When I say the magician, it's about having all the tools and resources. And at the table, you see the pentacles, you see the cups, the sword, the wands, pentacles, stability, security, right? The cups, there's love, there's emotion still here. The wands, there's passion, there's excitement, there's desire, and the sword. This is someone that feels like, you know, that's communication. This is someone that wants to reach out they want to communicate they want to make a big decision finality judgment call and it really comes down to them realizing this is worth manifesting we have all the tools all the resources to make this work um now the energy of the temperance of earth could be like give me a moment give me a time um it feels like they're waiting for the right time waiting for the right time to take action the moon could be fears. Maybe they're afraid to take action because the wheel is in reverse. They may feel like something is not favorable for them. They may feel if they take action, it's going to backfire. It's not going to be fruitful for them. It's not going to lead to um, an opportunity. The moon talks about, again, insecurities, fears of the unknown, um, especially when it comes down to you and them, where there's some miscommunication, no communication, right? And there's also the energy of the, of the temperance with the seven of wands. This is someone that really wants to fight hard for this. They really want to stand up for this, but there's also energy of like, let me wait for the right moment, right time where I can have the best possible outcome. And that's what it comes down to with the temperance, waiting for the right time to pour into the situation, believing that. If they carefully choose a time that is, um, I guess, ideal, it's going to allow a situation to unfold in their favor. And this is someone who feels like right now, maybe it won't be as favorable for them, okay? So there's something about strategizing how they come in, how they speak to you. Circling back to the challenge, we do have the Three of Wands and the Three of Pentacles in verse. This is, again, waiting for the right time. Three of Wands, waiting for the right moment, not coming in right away. Because the Three of Pentacles in verse, there are still some blockages, not seeing eye to eye, which can maybe delay things or keep it from really moving in the way, in the direction that they want. Okay? So, Pisces, I hope you guys got some um, information from this reading, um, some guidance and some clarity like share comment subscribe you all have an amazing weekend and a week ahead i'll check you guys out soon and blessings stay safe